So thank you, Noelia. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you everyone for joining Love, Peace, Harmony today for the special topic of meditation with Mother Earth. I invite everyone to create a peaceful atmosphere. Just give everyone a minute if you need to do anything. So let us begin with an invocation. Dear Tao, dear Source, dear Divine, we come before you in such deep gratitude today for having this exquisite home that we call Mother Earth. We cannot thank you enough for the beauty and the strength and the unconditional generosity of our home planet. Dear spiritual fathers and mothers, thank you for helping us co-create our life here on earth. Thank you for your unconditional service in serving Mother Earth, which serves us. We are deeply, deeply grateful. We're so honored to be here today with you. And dear the spirit, the Shen Shi Jing, soul, heart, mind of love, peace, harmony, of the song and the blessings associated with the song and the calligraphy. Thank you that we are here as a group to honor you today and specifically to honor Mother Earth. We know that Mother Earth is in a lot of changes and we're so eager to serve her. We cannot thank you enough. For those of you that are familiar with the practice, if you wish to activate any downloads or spiritual treasures, any other spiritual gifts that you have received, please turn them on at this time to help you connect with the love, peace, harmony field. And to help us connect with the soul, heart, and mind. Let us say hello to Mother Earth. Dear Mother Earth, we love you. We honor your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, which carries us through space. In this lifetime, and according to people's own beliefs in many lifetimes, we know that you've been here for thousands of years, millions of years, and still you give and you adapt. And this is such a privilege today to be here. If we wish to call our ancestors as appropriate, if we wish to call the souls of any loved ones as appropriate, we invite them to come today and to offer our deepest love and gratitude to Mother Earth. And now, so today we have a, diff a little bit of an unusual format. I hope it is a gift for everyone. It is with my deepest joy that I have chosen some photographs. And thanks to beloved soul brother, Jordan, we're just going to um, show them in sequence. They'll be kind of like a little slideshow. It's about um, five, maybe 10 minutes at the most. And then we'll um, ask Noelia to put on her Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphies and we'll trace. And then after that, we'll sit um, in front of the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphies and we'll do a meditation. Um, we may or may not have time for people to individually sing the Love, Peace, Harmony song. And then at the end, we'll do a sharing. I apologize for the delayed start. And we're very, very grateful for all the help to be here today. So I'm just going to talk briefly for a few minutes 
to start our meditation. So if Jordan would um, begin the slideshow now, I'm so grateful. So we salute the unfolding like a flower of our spirits here on Mother Earth. And Mother Earth herself is unfolding into higher consciousness. She herself has a spirit which is evolving. And we are sitting here, but we are not alone. It looks like we're alone in space, but we're not. We're part of a beautiful solar system. We're part of a galaxy. We're part of a universe. And we are a family. And we say hello, we love you, to all the neighbors of Earth in our own solar system. Throughout history, people on Earth, wise ones, have created sacred sites, like this Buddha carved out of a mountain, where they know that Mother Earth has a higher frequency and vibration if we connect with it. And we're so honored today to connect through love, peace, harmony, with all the abundance, all the nourishment that Mother Earth brings to us without fail. We acknowledge the love, peace, harmony that Mother Earth gives to all of us because we're all like stained glass windows. We all have different colors, some dark, some light, and it's so beautiful. And we offer Mother Earth our deepest love because no matter what color our frequency is, whether we're higher or lower vibration, she loves us from the smallest stones, from the simplest, what we think of as simple creatures, all the way to more complex systems. And the Chinese um, culture acknowledges the five elements of wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And these are in every single one of us and every single item on earth in a beautiful balance. And Mother Earth is rebalancing at this time to a higher frequency. And so these elements are going under transformation. And we see a balance on the earth of more or less water in some areas, more or less fire in some areas, and so on. But I've shown this table because we are feasting every day on Mother Earth's body. She gives us air, and she gives us water, and she gives us food, and she gives us safety from her atmosphere. And so we dine at her table in our souls, and we're so grateful, Mother Earth. And there's many ancient saints and ancient spiritual mothers and fathers, such as Guan Yin and many other ones, who lead us into a new relationship with Mother Earth through their high wisdom. And we're so grateful today. We want to honor them because they're part of our journey here with Mother Earth. And we cannot bow down. We cannot thank them enough. Thank you. Thank you for all the help that we have. Please help us be more grateful through love, through peace, and through harmony for what we have. This is the dawning of a new age. If you Google many different spiritual terms now, even advertising now uses the word soul, we know we're at a threshold of an exciting new time. And it can also bring up sometimes some deeper emotions. But we know that love and peace and harmony, we know that when we love and we say, I love you, to ourself in the mirror, to Mother Earth, to our neighbors, to people in traffic. We know that that melts blockages. So we're here today to say to Mother Earth, I love you so much. I love the cosmos. These are the lions, mountains over Vancouver, with a nebula in the background. I love you, seen and unseen. Often we don't see the reality around us. I don't think I've ever seen this with my naked eye, but the photographer had a special filter. We ask that love, peace, harmony be a filter for our hearts to sense the love that Mother Earth has for us and for us to give more back to her and to everyone on Earth. And when we feel emotions arising during these sometimes turbulent times, let us remember that we are here together. It is such an honor. It is such a joy to heal to transform, to progress, and to deepen in wisdom as one. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, harmony. Love, peace, harmony. Let us all say this quietly together. I love my heart and soul. I will work with what I have like this beautiful little girl. Let us take whatever we have in our life and make something beautiful of it to honor our mother who carries us in her body through space. Thousands of kilometers per second we travel and we are kept so, so happy like this beautiful child. Create in us a childlike heart. Let us be like babies filled with the innocence of love. Let us melt whatever pain and whatever story we have of pain and feel the nurturing of Mother Earth. Let us say to Mother Earth, thank you. I love you. I love you. And as we say I love you to ourselves in the mirror and to our neighbors, to our finances, to our cars, to our jobs, and every minute these people are in the cold, but they're finding joy in it because they've decided that the cold is fun when they skate. Let us try to have that spirit of adventure, no matter what happens around us and in us, that we say, how can this situation transform? We know that we are the light in the darkness. We know that love is the light in the darkness. And the darkness and the light are inseparable. The yin and the yang, the I Ching, there's many ancient wisdoms. All the spiritual traditions acknowledge a higher frequency and a higher vibration of light. And that is what Love, Peace, Harmony offers us. And as we are bathed in the song, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love peace and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. We become this vibration. Our hearts ignite like this volcano. And all, whatever we think our old stories are, whatever we think our limitations are, this light, this light, which is bigger than us and more ancient than us and more powerful than us and more wise than us, this love, of love and peace and harmony are unconditional and eternal. And the magic of this world that we live in means that rays and particles that come from the sun, instead of harming us, they're transformed by the electromagnetic field around the earth and they become what we call the northern lights. They're transformed by earth's grace into beauty. And how can we thank Mother Earth enough for this mysterious show? And in the Northern Hemisphere, it's autumn. It's now turning into winter. So we have more Northern Lights. And as we go into the darkness in the Northern Hemisphere, the solstice is coming soon, the darkest day, the longest night of the year. Let us imagine that we're filling that light with love, peace, harmony. Let us look to all the spiritual traditions that are so wise, that have foretold this time, this time of changes, this time of great opportunity for new wisdom, this time of a possibility for an entirely new consciousness. And Mother Earth needs our help. This is a piece of driftwood that someone made into a gigantic chair at our beach. Imagine this new consciousness of seeing everything through new eyes. Children, young people, seniors, everyone is attracted to this spontaneous log driftwood sculpture. Someone might see it as a piece of garbage, but it's turned into an art object. And here is a little impromptu sauna that someone has set up by the beach. And movie stars come from Hollywood and they're so astounded by the view. And they make a little fire and have a sauna and stare over the ocean and the mountains. 
and they seek the wilderness and they love the cold and they love the emptiness. So their story is that the emptiness and the cold are exciting and an adventure. And this is the view they face from the sauna. And I pray for myself and I pray for humanity that we can all learn to see with new eyes, new possibilities, to not fear emptiness, to not fear change, to welcome it, to welcome new opportunities. And just like this pond with these leaves is reflecting the sky, it is our greatest, greatest privilege that our souls begin to reflect love, peace, harmony to Mother Earth and to our spiritual fathers and mothers and to all realms when we sing love, peace, harmony. And there's a little tiny leaf shape cut out in the middle of this leaf. And we know that leaves are beautiful. We also know that leaves are a symbol of death. The leaf is no longer green. It is falling to earth and it will decompose. But it surrenders. It falls from the tree. And it falls to earth. And it makes fertilizer for the tree and for more leaves in the spring. Let us offer our lives, our service, to nourish each other, to nourish Mother Earth, so that our spirits well up like this waterfall, so that our souls well up in joy, in love, peace, and harmony. The sunlight is backlighting this fountain. Let us ask the song Love, Peace, Harmony to fill us with the sunlight of the song, the joy and the energy of the song, so that when heaven looks at us singing Love, Peace, Harmony, it sees us like this fountain bubbling up in joy. We love you, Mother Earth. We bless your wood, your fire, your earth, your metal, your water to meld as one. My mom was Norwegian, our mother, so it says God Yule, which is for Norwegian, for Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. And many ancient cultures around the world brought in greens at Christmas. When we were children, our Norwegian grandparents had us step on greens as a floor mat outside the door at Christmas and New Year. It's an act of bringing in the new, green, vibrant energy in the darkest night of the year. The life of life force of that tree branch that we stepped on was considered a sacred act. Let us see love, peace, harmony the same, infusing our souls, infusing our hearts, infusing our minds in these beautiful, challenging, complex, wondrous times. And bring the light and the frequency of a new way of being, of co-creating with our beautiful Mother Earth. Let us know that nothing is permanent. The little snowman was melted by the end of that day. And this land is temporarily terraced, just like the snowman was temporarily shaped. We are all temporary here in our bodies. And more and more as I do spiritual practice, I don't feel so much fear or attachment as I used to. We love our bodies. We treasure them. They're a container for our soul. But we also know that everything, including Mother Earth and us, are all in flux. We're all in change. And the beauty of that is that we can become more like love. Whatever that means for you, whatever that means for me, whatever that means for our country and our city, whatever that means for Mother Earth herself, let us sing love, peace, harmony, not knowing what that shape is going to be. Will it be an evergreen tree that we just saw? Will it be a cacti, a cactus? Mother Earth does not limit the shape of love. She does not say there only has to be one way to have a tree. And as we sing love, peace, harmony, let us expand our mind into understanding there's palm trees, there's 
cacti trees, there's conifer trees. And just like that, there's many futures for us. There's many ways for us to be in the world. There's many ways for love, peace, harmony to be in the world. Let us offer our singing, our drawing. I'm offering my photographs tonight. Jordan is offering his expertise. Noelia is offering hers. You are all here. Let us have fun trying to figure out and design and play in the field of love, peace, harmony. So that all of humanity, so that our blessed, wonderful, generous, giving, changing Mother Earth can feel and activate more this beautiful frequency between all of us. When my sister and I were young, our mother would bring flowers to people, especially to elders. And I confess I didn't understand. I didn't understand. I was selfish. I wanted her attention on me, and now I understand what she was doing. She was doing what this picture symbolizes, that we're in a physical body, and we can touch each other, we can help each other, we can show each other love, peace, harmony, and that is a major way of blessing Mother Earth. Because she feels our energy, she supports us. Imagine if all the billions of people on Earth knew about love, peace, harmony. That is Master Shah's dream. That is my dream, and I know that's everyone's dream here. That's why we're in this precious meeting today. And so as we go on our path, we ask to be made illuminations, illuminations in our soul, in our heart, in our mind. We ask to be these candles. Imagine all the billions, nine billion candles, nine billion souls. How beautiful. All singing love, peace, harmony. All dancing it, all drawing it all driving it, all singing it, all growing it, all eating it, making movies, drawing it in the clouds with their hands or flying a plane. And like the veins in this leaf, if we zoomed in on this picture, we would just see more and more veins. There's no end. And then we would get into the quantum field to our beloved Dr. Lynn helps us understand at deeper levels. Everything is vibration. The wind has made a vibration on this sand. We know that sound vibrates sand on a plate. And we know that when we sing love, peace, harmony, our molecules, our cells, our organs, our body systems, our skeleton, our hair, our teeth, our eyes, our mouth, our nose, everything vibrates with sound. So when we sing love, peace, harmony, we become like these blossoms, we become the vibration of the information that we're in. The information of love, peace, harmony is very, very beautiful. It's different for everyone, what love, peace, harmony looks like, but as we offer it to Mother Earth, our vibration affects her because we are one in the quantum field. There's no separation in the energy field between us and Mother Earth. And the ancient beloveds in Australia knew this. And the old name before was Ayers Rock. Now it, now it has a different name, a sacred name. But the ancient ones knew that this rock held their stories and they chanted and sung and danced around it and bowed down to it because they know that the earth holds energy and it holds memories. And they called it song lines. And that is what we can do for Mother Earth now through Love, Peace, Harmony. This is in Japan. Every culture knows that the land is sacred. The ancient cultures knew that this mountain was sacred. They know that the earth is alive. They understand we interact with her. We help her, she helps us. We are one.
Mother Earth hears us and she responds to us. And this is such a privilege and a sacred responsibility. And there are still those on earth that are still learning this. But the ancient wisdom, this is the Inca site in Peru, Machu Picchu rather, the ancient ones knew this. And this, this ancient memory, these times are returning. And how exciting, how sacred, how incredible to be here with the emergence, the coming together like a circle of time, reincarnation, Master Shah says, and the ancient wisdom returns. Let us honor Mother Earth so deeply. Let us thank her every morning when we get up. Let us thank her every night. Who can imagine the wonder that Master Shah knows? Who could imagine the higher realms that he sees for all of us? Because he is in love, peace, harmony all the time. So imagine the wonder of a sea full of pink birds. I had the honor of being at this lake in Kenya. And this is another part of Africa. These ancient trees are revered and a spiritual symbol for many. And love, peace, harmony honors all these different ways that Mother Earth flourishes. We honor you, Mother Earth. We honor all the creatures. We honor all the lineages of all the different creatures that have walked. Some which share a vast amount of DNA with us. It is a mystery. It is magical. And we honor you, Mother Earth. We love you. We praise you and we thank you for all the evolution, all the gifts of consciousness. This is part of the Milky Way. We are part of such a large fabric. Mother Earth's soul is very ancient. And imagine what she has seen and witnessed. We can connect with this beauty of her. And we offer her love, peace, harmony. We can grow as a global unit of consciousness. And this waterfall to me it represents letting go and surrender. We let go of whatever does not serve us. The water simply goes where it may. And the animals similarly on their migration. This is in the Serengeti in Africa between Tanzania and Kenya. So all these are images of flowing, of change, of transformation of the wisdom and the power of Mother Earth. When something is let go of, something new is created. The waterfall creates a new landscape. The fire, for example, in Hawaii creates a new landscape. And as we honor Mother Earth, we too can understand how to change and evolve now. We can evolve with Mother Earth in the transformation that's happening now. And love, peace, harmony will bring a higher peace, a higher harmony into these transformations. So these are hands, an elder reaching out to a youngster. We have young ones teaching elders, we have elders teaching young ones. We don't have any distinctions. But we know 
you have joined us now. We know that in the quantum field, this is our greatest gift. It can feel like a challenge at times because we truly are transforming as one. But the love, peace, harmony means that everyone is supported as we support Mother Earth. That is the beauty of it. We are supported ourselves. We support other people. They support us. We support Mother Earth. She supports us. We literally create a field in a world of love, peace, and harmony when we sing this song. Thank you, everyone. So now we will join beloved Noelia to trace. I don't know if we can change the view, Noelia, so we can see the entire calligraphy. If not, that's okay. Yeah. Right now, we just see part of I will move away from the calligraphy. Tell me if that's a good view. Sure. Um, you need to go a little bit more away. Mm -hmm. How's that? Um, a little bit more, if possible. How's that on your screen? Um, I'll move the chair. I'll move the chair. That's very close, Noelia. So I invite everyone. Um, it's, we have about 15 minutes left. So let's trace for five minutes and then we'll be in stillness and meditate for five minutes. I mean, they both can, can overlap. So Noelle, are you able to put on the Love, Peace, Harmony music? And if not, that's okay. I am. Sorry, I should have asked you while you were still at your computer. So thank you, everyone. Let us stay in a deep condition while Noelia prepares the music. Dear calligraphies, we love you. We honor you. We cannot thank you enough for your service. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the high frequency and vibration, which is blessing us whether we trace, whether we choose to sit, whether we stand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If anyone here is uh, new to this event, you can finger and relax. Thank you.
We just have a couple of minutes left. I apologize, we started um, a few minutes late. Thank you for your patience. Let us conclude this precious time together by offering as a meditation all of our love and gratitude to these calligraphies, to love, peace, and harmony, serving Mother Earth. Let us say, I love you, I love you. Let us imagine all the light from us, from countless planets, stars, galaxies, and more if you're comfortable doing that. Let us imagine all the love that there is in existence, thanking love, peace, harmony, joining with love, peace, harmony. We say to the calligraphy, we love you. We offer you our heart, our heart filled with an awareness of how blessed we are. Most of us don't understand, I know I don't understand what unconditional love is, but thank you, love, peace, harmony, that you're teaching me, that you're teaching us what it means to meld with you, to become love, to be love, so that we can truly serve our beautiful Mother Earth at this time. Thank you, love, peace, harmony. Thank you, love, peace, harmony. Thank you, love, peace, harmony. Help us to wake up more to the beauty and the magic of this life, the beauty of the power of love, the beauty of the power of our hearts, working as one heart with nine billion parts to it, but so much more even because all the animals and all the plants and all the mountains and the stones and the river, so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us do a brief closing and then if anyone would like to share, again, I apologize. If anyone has to leave, I completely understand. Dear Tao Source Divine, we cannot thank you enough for your presence here today, for your help through beautiful Jordan and beautiful Noelia, for everyone here in the line, being patient while we got everything sorted out. Dear spiritual fathers and mothers, we're so grateful we really cannot thank you enough as you help us understand a new higher consciousness of what love is in action, what love, peace, and harmony are. Thank you. Thank you, love, peace, harmony, for serving us today. Thank you, Mother Earth, for giving us one more day with you. Thank you, everyone here. Thank you. Our teacher, we call him Master and Dr. Shaw, who brought us the Love, Peace, Harmony song, who presented this to us as a gift, and it's our gift to share it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we say how, which means well done. Perfect. So, I don't know, Noelia, we, do we have the possibility of staying just for a few more minutes? If people want to share, is the line Zoom connection available for a few more minutes? I believe it is correct to be left, Terry. Thank you for all the technology support. So if anyone would like, if anyone would either, I know, thank you for the beautiful comments in the chat box. Um, perhaps Noelia can read those out, but first, if anyone would like to unmute and just um, briefly share, that would be beautiful. Please just go ahead. Hello, here's Bettina, and I'm deeply moved and touched by your beautiful meditation today, and with the pictures and everything you mentioned, it went deep in my heart and I therefore, I am so grateful. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Bettina. I feel your love. It's such an honor. Thank you to be here together. I would like to say thank you so much. This was so amazing. I felt 
I felt like I was just being like soaked in gratitude. And I felt just this light just blessing me. I laid down and I just felt this huge light just blessing me. And um, all of that wisdom, my cat is here just doing the same thing, just enjoying this frequency and vibration. And I truly felt Mother Earth and her her love. And I felt like it was sacred again. And, um, you know, because I feel like, you know, along the way somewhere, we forgot. Um, I know sometimes I forget that, um, you know, living in the city that everywhere is truly sacred, no matter where we live, whether, whether we're in a city or whether we are, you know, in a sacred canyon or mountain somewhere. Um, and I truly do feel that sacredness, even living in like a, just a city area. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Brianna. And thank you for bringing up that really great point. I didn't show any pictures of cities, but cities can be such a place of beauty because the great concentration of people there means there's a great concentration of souls there. And so I'm really glad that you added your wisdom that in cities, it's, it's a beautiful opportunity for us to feel the connection and to amplify it. Thank you, Brianna. else it's Renee <clears throat> I just um echoing everyone else I am so deeply moved by so many things today the beautiful surrendering that Noelia showed us of true surrender and letting go of the of how it flowed with Noelia and Jordan and even Marie saying it doesn't have to be today. And everyone on the line flowing and holding the space. And then this deep well of a portal into another space and time that we all felt that was the, that we inhabited, that we inhabited the Shen Shi Jing of love, the Shen Shi Jing of love, peace, harmony. And Marie, I just love so much that you're sharing your gift more and more. You have so much to give the world. And we're such a humble little group today. And you know, step by step, we work together. We, we wake up together. We love each other. We love together. We work as a team. And it will grow and build. And I'm really grateful and blessed to be here today. I truly went really deep. And I just started chanting my soul language to you, Marie, and to Master Shaw and to Love, Peace, Harmony. Because my heart was so opened by the presentation and by everyone on the line, because we created this field together. So greatest gratitude to everyone. And of course, of all, most of all, to Master Shaw, our beloved teacher who, who teaches this every second of the every moment with every molecule of who he is. Thank you, How. Thank you, Renee. That was so touching. Uh, many of you know that Renee and I are, are sisters. And when we were young, we did photography together. And as I went into a deep struggle, I stopped valuing who I was and I stopped doing photography. And so this for me today represents a huge gift that Noelia asked me if I would share a few minutes with you because she knows I love photography and she knows that I want to start doing it again. And so all of you here represent my healing. That is, I want to share love, peace, harmony. The reason I came out of my shell today to do this presentation was I know I want to serve humanity and serve Mother Earth more. And I love photography. My sister and I inherited this love from my mother. So I'm deeply grateful 
to Noelia for inviting me and for Jordan for making it possible. Thank you. Maybe we have time for one more. I'll share that. Um, <clears throat> wow, Marie, it was it was so powerful. I felt it in my zoo chow. And, you know, my nickname, I, I joke, is uh, Jordan feels it in a zoo chow stone. And um, and it was just such high frequency. And you really have a gift for doing guided meditations. And the images were beautiful. And I thank you for picking out such lovely aesthetic images and you know, the lava and the, the, what was that, Ayers Rock and Machu Picchu, we just, we really went around the, the world with so much beauty and, and with love and we, we contemplated life and death and everything in between and, and it was just wonderful and um, I thank you all for your presence and for your creating this field because we all, we all multiply each other when we come together in love, peace, and harmony. So thank you, Noelia, always for all you do, and Brother Terry, and everybody, and Renee and Marie, you guys are just wonderful. So your, your frequency is just so high, and I'm so blessed that I was able to help and, uh, and to do this. It was wonderful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jordan. That was sweet. Honestly, I'm just sitting here in a little puddle of tears of gratitude. Um, if I can model that to anyone, that we truly help each other step forward in faith and confidence. Um, and the thing that really, I think, is going to draw us all forward is, is our love for each other, our love for a teacher, our love for beautiful Mother Earth. And I actually got so inspired last night that I, stayed up much of the night because the more pictures I looked at, the more I felt the awe and the wonder of being a human being on earth at this time. It's such a privilege to be here in a human body, especially for those of us that have struggled with that. It is such a privilege to come through that and out the other side enough to share our love with one another. And I owe that all to our magnificent teacher, um, Doctor and Master Shaw for the blessings he's given me. So I think I'll pass this over to Noelia now and just say I love you all so much. Thank you. Deepest gratitude, Marie. Just so in awe and love and gratitude. Humbled by the most beautiful presentation, the flow with the pictures. Jordan and you totally flowed with your flow is just so heart touching and the love could totally completely feel it and I can't say it you know enough everybody's already say, said so many beautiful words Jordan Brianna and Renee it, it, and all the comments that I'm reading that I probably can't get to but uh, all these beautiful comments of everybody and how much we really love tonight and just as a testament Bettina is in Germany and it's 3 a.m and she really really wanted to be here and Terry for all his support Brianna, their unconditional support, Glenn, Deliana, Maria Luisa. Thank you, everyone. And so I just cannot thank you enough. And countless bow downs to Dr. Shah, to Love, Peace, Harmony, and to every one of you, and to Marie for this magical presentation. So thank you, everyone. Love you. So to glorious goodbye to each other. <laughs> you have me in tears here. <laughs> How beautiful it is. So thank you. And have a good night, everyone. Have a good night too, Noelia. This is Renee. I just was looking at my calendar at the very end while we were all praising and thanking and having a good love fest. And I looked at the calendar and next Saturday is December 18th. And we meet every Saturday, yes, at, at this time. And it occurred to me that the solstice is, depending you know, where you are in the world, it's always somewhere between the 2021 and 22. We just looked it up for Vancouver and it's actually early on the 21st. It's um, at 7.59 a.m. So we're near the end of that because you know, of how the global time works and all that. But I just had an idea and I don't know if this is the time or place, but 
Noelle, it just occurred to me since it's the last Saturday before the solstice, which is such a ancient sacred time of year. Do you think that there would be something to having a special honoring of love, peace, harmony, solstice? I don't know if we would each bring a photo or a poem or just one word, but I wondered if we all want to mull that over. And Noelle, I would, I would leave that to your guidance and, and inspiration. It just came to me during this incredible goosebump. <laughs> that's because Magic. you're very aligned yeah. to Marie because that's actually the theme of our next presentation is going to be a meditation with the moon and the solstice so you're right on <laughs> so thank perfect. you perfect so thank you yes perfect thank you everyone have a thank good, night. good night thank you beloved for staying up in Europe and for those that are in the east that's really um magnificent your support we love you so much good night everyone thank you it was an honor thank you so much great very great and heart touching bless you bye bye love you all thank love you love you everyone love so you too beautiful. so beautiful for all of you hugs from vancouver to everyone ciao Love you all. Thank you.